गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ मिस्टर चोले प्रशांत रमेश राव हेड एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल साइंस संजोनी महाविद्यालय सापुले इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन व्हाट इज मीन बाय एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट गोल्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन व्हाट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड स्कोप ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन and major environmental issues role of teachers in environmental education and what are the different advantages of environmental education these all aspects or these all points we discussed in detail in our last lecture today we are again going to discuss about environmental education in our today's lecture we are going to discuss about different methods of environmental education that is formal and non formal environmental education second levels of formal education third environmental education at higher level and at college level and lastly we will discuss non formal environmental education here as we will study all aspect in brief manner first we see what are the methods of environmental education so as per as the methods of environmental education consider concerned the environmental education is broadly classified into two types that is formal environmental education and second non formal environmental education so we will be going to study the difference between the formal and non formal environmental education in details there are different four types of levels of formal environmental education that is awareness of environment it is related to primary education aware of a child in their primary education or aware or teach the our child or about our environment and aware them at the primary level second point environment and real life situation it is related with secondary education teach the student about environment and what are the problems we face in real life about environment third point conservation of resources there are different types of resources that is energy resources that is wildlife resources water resources conventional and non conventional resources give the education about this how to conserve it to the student at higher secondary level and last sustainable development that is we see this in last lecture in detail it is related with higher education next formal environmental education here we going to study what is mean by formal environmental education and what are the phase of formal environmental education here <coughs> the formal environmental education is going to these three or needs the three points that is syllabus classroom and evolution syllabus is consist a per sorry formal environmental education is consist a particular syllabus which is given by a the authorities like state board 
NCRT or a university. It is a formal environmental education is a particular framework. It gives a particular syllabus to the students for a study that is authorized like the state board, NCRT, university, etc. Second, classroom. Formal environmental education needs a particular classroom. Means, this formal environmental education is a two-way education, not a single-way education. That is, it needs student and teachers both are physically involved in the teaching process. The students and teachers both are involved physically in the teaching process. That is two-way education. Hmm? Last evolution method. It is what? This evolution done by different types of examination. Evolution method means it is done by different types of examination that is internal examination or external examination these all includes in a formal environmental education other hand non formal environmental education it includes any age group local language no specific boundaries through multiple modes, mode will be applied as per requirement. This is the second method of environmental education, that is non-formal environmental education. So, what is the difference between formal and non-formal environmental education? As in last type, we have seen that there is a student, teacher, classroom, particular syllabus, etc. But in the non-formal environmental education, there is no specific framework or no boundaries. There is no classroom. There is no evaluation. There is no particular syllabus. Here, any age group that is child, that is youngster, that is adult, they include in non-formal environmental education. Hmm? They non-formal environmental education include local language. Why they include local language? Because the in our India or in our state, every specific area have a having a particular language. That's why the non-formal environmental education includes a local language to educate the people or to attract the society or to attract the students towards them or to educate them, they include their local language or give the education that people in their local language. That's why their interests are increases and the uh, they include in this system. Next, there are no specific boundaries or no specific framework. That is in formal environmental education, we see there is a particular syllabus, particular classroom, there is two ways, uh, two ways education system that is student teacher present physically in the classroom. But in the non-formal environmental education, there are no specific boundaries, there are no specific framework. This non-formal environmental education are used a mul through multiple modes, not depend only one type of method. We will discuss this in the next slide. Here we see the multiple modes of non-formal environmental education. In this diagram, we see the media, posters, slideshow, drama, street plays, video films, exhibition, rangoli. Through these all modes, we give 
the non formal environmental education through posters how we give the non formal environmental education through posters to organize competition give the theme uh, in our festivals or in uh, other programs we give the themes to the student of environment for poster and aware the people through the posters our religious festivals we organize the competitions of environmental themes we aware the people through slides through slides how we aware the people give the slide show in public places in school in colleges in hospitals this is aware the people through drama script of drama aware the society by script of drama of environment for awareness of society same street plays also play important role short video films about biodiversity about environmental problems about water pollution it also aware the people arrange the exhibition that is science exhibition and give the themes of environment biodegradation that is energy resources biodiversity and aware the people also the uh, arrange the rangoli competition is religious festivals in college can uh, college gatherings or in social programs and give the themes to them about the environment and through media also these are the different modes of environmental education last non formal environmental education that is adult education adult may influence other members using posters slide generated in a, their local languages second children activities this can ensure through programs like competition the spot painting modeling and poster design on environmental topics for children these activities aware the children about the environment about uh, uh, what is environmental competitions that is quiz competition that is modeling and poster designs on environment these aware the children and last eco development camps this develop or this create awareness among students and also in non student youth these are the difference between formal and non formal environmental education thank you